and you know we usually don't really help but i think we should do you think we should help people just a little bit show them a little trump card perhaps Let's yeah just... i think i think give it to them give it to them help them out today all right i'm on my 11 circle trump card let's have a look a person who we think should definitely be in your team who are we talking about we're talking about sandeep sharma so sandeep sharma why because he has got virat kohli seven times there's not too many people who can say that a big player is my bunny and there's some solid bowlers on that list zahir khan sunil narayan ashish nara pragyan oja sandeep sharma right up there's got virat kohli seven times uh, joy not a bad bunny to have when easter comes around yeah not not at all not at all he has that ability exactly you know he's that teasing length and you know virat likes to drive in the beginning a lot of balls you either he beats him in the air with that little in swinger of his or he gets him to drive officially he he sort of knows virat's game and he knows virat's see virat's always and this is now this avatar of virat you're seeing this is a different virat's normally anxious to get it on sandeep sharma is just a kind of bowler who more than in, not he doesn't intimidate him he irritates him you know he's like you know i want to hit this guy out of the ground and <laughs> the ball is just not timing or you know just got a little bit of shape to beat me you know so it's it's he's like a fly a gnat on virat you know virat just you know you see virat's look on his face when he plays sandeep sharma yeah, fly always wins man you may have a swatter in your hand <laughs> but remember that the swatter ain't no good and i'm going to show polly uh, you know we're going to talk about this i don't think you were there the other day one of the foremost fast bowlers uh, world cricket has ever seen i want to tell you that sandeep sharma and jaspreet bumrah their stats are not very different in fact they are surprisingly and alarmingly neck and neck when it comes to the ipl they both got 100 wickets the economy rate is almost the same uh, they both played you know what is i think 90 matches the wickets are the same the average is the same the economy is the same it's uh, he's quite a little unsung hero isn't he yeah he is and i love the way he goes about his business um, you know there's, there's different dimensions to him i mean there's no doubt bomber has got the x factor and is effective at any stage of the inning sandeep's probably the most effective up front and that's the reason why is he gets movement through the air as joy was saying he gets the ball just to swing in in uh, on at will and the thing about him is he can have the keeper up to the stumps and uh, you know that's the challenge for someone like a finch you know he likes to create a pace on the ball he comes from australia all the wickets there come on to the bat and when he gets someone who's a little bit slower what he does is he runs at them because that creates the pace for him and gives him something to work with oops all of a sudden sandeep says okay well i'm going to get the ball just to wobble through the air but i'm going to bring the keeper up as well what plan are you going to come up with now and that's why i, I like what he's got and I also I'm a firm believer that if you've got attributes as a bowler in this T20 format it's too often the bowlers think oh let's just go for the the, the option that's going to cost me less or go for wide yorkers or something no what has he got he's got movement through the air he's got accuracy and he uses them to his advantage he's not scared to use them and that's what excites me about what he's done and credit to him I think he's been brilliant particularly this season again